Hi, Mika. Hi, how are you, Janice? <laughs> Good. As we had like technical difficulties. Sorry, everybody. Um, but yeah, Mika's here. I'm so excited for you. I'm so excited to have you here. I mean, we've been wanting to to get together forever, and it's just right. The stars weren't aligned for us, but now they are. Right. Yes. <laughs> We're going to do this. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it once. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay. Um, so, hi, I'm Janice. I am a boundaries coach and um, I help Bi BIPOC women become effective communicators through um, setting healthy boundaries. And so I wanted to have this discussion with my friend Mika, who's a wellness coach. Um, I want to kind of marry the two because they're so important because they go together. Mm -hmm. um, and I, first off, I'm going to have her introduce herself because she is her best advocate. So Mika, <laughs> take it away. <laughs> I am Mika online. I think I go by Miss Flowers. Um, I am a wellness coach. I, I started out in a wellness niche because I was basically, I was going through my family, my family tree and everybody died from something. And I was like, okay, I had breast cancer at 26. My mother had cancer. So I was like my grandfather, my grandmother, and then all the other ones down the line. So I was like, something has to change. So there was this one time I, I was, when I was going to church, we were doing a Daniel fast and I noticed so many changes within, we only did it for three days. Now some churches go hardcore, they do it for months. We did it for three days <laughs> and I, I seen all these changes, in it, but I still went back to eating what I was eating before the fast. And then after I got so sick and I was like, okay, um, what, what do I need to do? Cause my doctor at the time, she was like, you can take this pill. This She had about five or six pills. And I was like, mm, I'm not doing that. So I had to have a conversation with myself and I was like, well, what are we going to do? Because you don't want to be on pills. You already had cancer. So what are we going to do? And I had that talk with myself. And I was like, when was the last time I didn't feel like this? And that was during the Daniel Pass. Mm. So then going vegan, going vegan and, you know, looking for vegan recipes and looking for what type of vegan I wanted to be because it gets real cultish and it's kind of like a religion at, <laughs> to some people. Mm. So I went, I I, I started with, you know, vegan, vegetarian, then I ended up alkaline. And then in the process of learning about the alkaline vegans, I started to learn about herbs. So then in that process, learning about different herbs, I was drinking tea, this certain type of tea every day, and my stomach started to get better. So then I said, I, I can't go back to doing all the stuff that I was doing before. I can't go back to eating meat. I can't go back to... <laughs> eating, like just whatever was bothering my stomach. And finally, that's how I became a wellness coach because a lot of people were starting to notice different things. And they were like, well, what are you doing for this? Well, what do you do for this? And I was just like, okay, people are asking me questions. Like, might as well give them the answer. Might as well do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, no, definitely. I love that. I love that. I love your story, how you, because most people think that, Becoming a wellness coach is got just something. And I live in California. Like it's just mm -hmm. something that people do. And it's about like, you know, hugging a tree and all the kind right. of stuff. And it's mm -hmm. not that, of course, no, no shade to people who like to hug trees. Right. Nothing um, wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, but it's it, it could be more than that, especially in our community. Like, you mm -hmm. know, wellness is something that um, we have to learn so much, like, because we don't know, like, our foods we eat and everything, you know, right. just everything that it's can be poisoned. It's something I had to learn as well. Um, mm -hmm. Just growing up, I wasn't akin to that. That's just what we weren't, we weren't, you know, right. taught that. But now that we are, now that I'm very health conscious of what I put in my mouth, <laughs> what I <laughs> what I eat, um, I'm very much like that. That's the boundary in it. So that's why I really mm -hmm. wanted to have this discussion with you too, like how wellness and boundaries go together because they do. Eating, um, moving your body, um, right. being conscious of who and what is around you, of course, as all, you're meant for your mental health. Um, right. Can you just 
discuss a little bit about how you see wellness and boundaries going together a little bit? I, th I think a lot of times wellness and boundaries going together, you got to have boundaries for yourself and what you're not going to eat or which, and, and it, it comes, it's more than just what you're eating. It's also what you're thinking. So it all ties in together. So when you get down to what you're eating, it's kind of like, now I have to read the labels. Now I have to have a portion of what the label is saying and not eat the whole bag. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. <laughs> it's easy to eat a whole bag of chips. I don't oh, care yeah, what it's so easy. <laughs> you can't it's eat easy. just one. Right. It's easy to <laughs> eat a whole bag of chips. So when you have those boundaries and you know, some people are they're really serious. They're they're measuring everything. They're measuring, they're getting on a measuring cup, they're getting out of scale. Mm -hmm. I am not that serious. <laughs> but <laughs> but yes. know, you you have to set those boundaries within yourself and say, okay, I'm not going to, I'm not gonna eat this whole box of ice cream, even though it's vegan ice cream. Like it's still yeah. <laughs> <ice> right. Cream. <laughs> right. That's where they get you. But yeah. vegan, so you think, oh, it's fine. I can't have milk. No, no still have portion sizes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no portion sizes. <laughs> no, definitely. So the boundary of what you're saying too is like knowing, you know, how to portion size, how to um stick up for yourself, like, hey, I'm not gonna eat just one bag of chips. I'm not gonna mm -hmm. I'm be conscious of of what I what I'm eating and reading the labels. I think people don't mm -hmm. do that as much. Mm -hmm. And I know we had, we went through a whole process. Um, America went through this whole process of like um, trans fat, you know, remember that yeah. like almost, you know, like a decade ago. Yeah. I think it was a decade yeah, was, ago. Yeah, it was, oh, it, it was, it was, yeah. yeah. It was another religion. It was just <laughs> it another was, religion. It was. So um, people went through. Nobody ever that. said what trans fats were. <laughs> right? so just don't eat it. Yeah. Eat it's kind of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like in the 80s i mean we're kind of the same i think we're in the same age bracket but remember mm -hmm. in the 80s where it was like low fat and yeah, you remember it was like everything. such a big yeah low fat everything but the um the sugar content was super high we didn't think anything of it eating, right you know fruit salad and you're eating just sugar <laughs> right or, or or they take out the sugar and they put something else in it it's just right. like okay right <laughs> exactly exactly all um, right yeah so we talked about i mean we, we're talking about um boundaries with your health what about mm -hmm. your mental health because a lot of people and us because i'm speaking to us we mm -hmm. don't think about mental health as something that we can have we can be healthy mentally right. it's okay for us to be does right. that kind mm -hmm. of weigh into like does eating have any to do with your mental? Yes, because there's so many chemicals and things. So if you're eating chemicals, those chemicals are going in your bodies, going to your brain, going to your mind. <laughs> a lot of time, a lot of times people think they're like, oh, I'm craving this, I'm craving this. No, you're not. It's just the chemicals in it that's making you crave it. And then when it comes to mental health, a lot of times people are self-soothing with food. They're not dealing with their problems. There, there is food, it's alcohol, it's drugs. They're not dealing with their problems. Mm -hmm. So then your mental health is messed up from that. Mm -hmm. And nobody wants to say, I, I am a big advocate on take your behind the therapy. Like <laughs> go, mm -hmm. go to therapy. Mm -hmm. And I hear people all the time, oh, I just pray, I pray. You've been praying about it. What, what has changed? It's time to go talk mm -hmm. to somebody. Go talk to somebody. Go mm -hmm. sit down with somebody. And I think within our community, it's like frowned upon right. to, to go to therapy. And it's like, oh, you're crazy. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all driving me crazy. <laughs> right, like, exactly. exactly. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> it is definitely frowned upon, especially in our community. And mm -hmm. I had a discussion with somebody earlier um, this week who's Latina. And she said the mm -hmm. same thing. Like, you know, of course, mm -hmm. it's a it's a problem. Um but also just like what we do, we're, you know, we're coaches in our respective, right? People don't think that you can't go to therapy and have a coach or I have a therapy before you have a coach. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like, 
therapy yeah. especially if you need to get to the root of it i am i am right. a huge proponent of therapy as well right. like i just i love i'm not in therapy right now but i have been i'm very open with that right. um, but finding the root cause of course that's what therapy is about mm-hmm. and but a uh, coach also can help you if you're like trying to lose weight if you're trying to you know, um, look at your, learn how to listen to your label, look at your labels right. and um, eat well. That's where a health coach comes in. A wellness right. coach comes in. Right. When you're trying to seek out boundaries. So I think you can have it in tandem, but if you are, <laughs> if you do have something that's like rooted, yeah, take your behind to therapy. <laughs> yeah. I'm, yes. I'm very, very big on it. I'm, I'm very big on it. And I'm like, mm. I don't want to, I, I told somebody one day, I was like, I, I can't keep talking to people that don't go to therapy. Like, <laughs> you guys, <laughs> like, I can't right. carry this anymore for you. You got to, you got to right. go. <laughs> right, exactly. Because <laughs> some people use that, use people who are trying to better themselves mm-hmm. as crutches. And so right. That was, right. That's not what, mm-hmm. that's not what we here mm-hmm. for. That's right. not what we want. <laughs> and um, I, I was doing it for so long and I was just like, mm, no, not anymore. <laughs> yes, <laughs> not anymore, no. <laughs> so um, what about wellness for people who think that it's unattainable? Like, you know what I mean? Like for us, for us, for our communities that think like, mm, hi, having wellness is for the others. What would you I tell mean, that to them? Walking is free. Um, you can have a salad and it doesn't have to be a loaded salad with egg, uh, bacon, chicken, shrimp, <laughs> you know, you can have a salad, <laughs> a, <day. laughs> yeah. have a salad, a green a salad, salad. <laughs> a green salad, not that iceberg lettuce stuff, a green no. salad, mm-hmm. no. or you can start with a smoothie every morning. Right. I think people make it harder than what it is. Mm. Cause really, if I really broke it down, I told somebody, I said, I can help you go vegan in a month. It doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be six months to a year to do it. Right. right. So I think overthinking it is really the problem. Yeah. It's Isn't just, it oh. though? Because sometimes you really overthink. So it's the same thing with boundaries. I tell people when you break it down, it's really, it's not complicated as you think it is. And you don't have to be mm-hmm. afraid of it so much. So I mean, you don't right. be afraid of that period. But you don't have to be afraid of it because it's it, it's attainable, of course, to everybody. Mm-hmm. But um, when you take the 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 vastness out of it, when you start overthinking about it, it does seem like it's unattainable. Right. And I tell people all the time, I'm like, if you buy food for your house and you eat out, you have enough money to buy what you need. <laughs> you just <laughs> just not doing it. Yes. No, definitely. How do you how do you set boundaries for yourself? Like, because you are your your own case study. So, how do you set boundaries for wellness for yourself as you walk around? As I walk around, basically, it's just me talking to myself. Like, no, no this, is, <laughs> <laughs> this makes no sense. <laughs> like, <stop>. Get it together. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta do that though. <laughs> I'm like, you know, you shouldn't have did that. You know, you shouldn't have ate that. You mm-hmm. know what's gonna bother your stomach. Mm-hmm. So, and sometimes it's like, do you want your stomach to bother you? <laughs> right. <laughs> I have conversations with myself, and I'm just like, mm, that was silly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because don't you think too? Like a lot of people, a lot of us don't know that we're probably like gluten intolerant, or do you know what I mean? Like we're we have some type of allergy. We don't think that we kind of push made, it off to ourselves. It's made to think it's normal. Right. 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 It's made right, to think right. it's normal. Right. I, I was reading a, I was reading something one day and it said you're not lactose intolerant. You're not lactose. You're not a baby cow. You're, you're not lactose intolerant. <laughs> something like that. And I, was, and I started laughing and I was like, I'm not a baby cow. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> It's true. It's true. We are not baby cows. <laughs> it was so funny. And I say to people all the time, because I my 11-year-old and 14-year-old, they got a thin frame. 
they're 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 not they're tall but they don't have that much weight on them and when I was working in the school system there was a lot of little girls they were like they were stacked and I'm like right. fifth grade <laughs> like, yes. I'm like and I'm telling people I'm like you guys need to stop drinking cow's milk and they're like what do you mean you need milk and I'm like you could drink milk but cow's milk I said there's so many hormones and so much if you have a baby cow and a baby cow comes out 500 pounds and then it's drinking right. the milk and now it's uh, right. bigger than this why do you think your your kids are overweight yes and and everybody looks at me like I'm crazy and I'm just like Mm-mm. you got like that and that's why I was telling my friend I said I have to change my approach when it comes to wellness coach coaching because up here isn't right mm. so we have to start here yeah yeah, it's true. Because a lot of things are just like, it's not, it's not connecting. And I'm like, if you're eating this, 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 and this, and you're feeling this way, stop eating it. But that's like, it's like, well, what am I going to eat? And I'm like, there's so many things you can eat. Like, <laughs> there's, so, there's so many substitutes now. You can't. There is. There's so many substitutes now. So there I'm is. like, but when it comes to the cow's milk, I'm like, no. <laughs> no 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 I'm I totally agree with you and it's like the conscious decision if you're fed mm-hmm. up with feeling a certain way if you're fed up with people treating you like I'm talking about boundaries if you're fed up with people treating you a certain way or you just sitting mm-hmm. there and letting it happen you have to have the mental fortitude to say hey no more I'm right. tired of feeling this way like I had a friend who was like who is allergic to him to wheat like this mm-hmm. this wheat out here now which is totally yeah. different than my grandfather's wheat <laughs> right right <laughs> and, you know so she's allergic to that and she doesn't she doesn't eat it but it took her to stop to stop wanting to feel bad she was mm-hmm. like oh that's just what you know she grew up like it that is what it is it is, yeah, what, it is it. what it is <laughs> and as she got older she's like well, no i don't want it i don't i don't want to be in the bathroom for two hours i mean do you right. But I don't want right. to be in the bathroom for two for two hours. So it is kind of like right. a conscious decision. And people don't think they have the power to say but no. They do. But they do. They do. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they they, do. And, and, like you said, you have to make that choice. You have your body's already making it for you. You just have yes, to make it up in your mind. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> so, yeah. Once you make it up in your mind, it's like, okay. Like, and that's why I told people, I said I had to come to myself. And talk to myself and come to my senses yes and say okay this ain't working if yes. I'm eating a hamburger on Tuesday and it doesn't feel like it digested until Sunday yeah. of the following week and then I didn't eat anything in between that time because I felt full for all those days and it's like I'm going around I'm not eating because my food's not digesting so I, I feel full I'm not eating and then I'm like well, why do I feel dizzy <laughs> like right <laughs> no that's very true i think it's more than just people thinking it's willpower like i know that's got like an old statement but yeah. willpower is not it's really making that conscious decision and that effort and i and i'll say that say this in full transparency because it has to do with wellness and boundaries mm-hmm. i had i had to stop weighing myself because first of all, nobody has a scale in their house. I mean, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But I grew up with that mentality of always weighing yourself. Yeah. Of always like every week, like just you have a couple times a week. Like I was just, and then when it wasn't showing what I wanted to, to see, because mm-hmm. I had starved myself or I had eaten a little bit um, right. this week or whatever, I was, I was totally crying. So mm-hmm. one, so one day I was like, you know, anymore i'm gonna listen to my body which is right. telling me you don't need that piece of cake you don't need that all that extra crap that you right. think you need so it is kind mm-hmm. of like a a conscious decision it is not even kind of it is a conscious decision mm-hmm. that we have to make for ourselves right. to you know and i feel so much but i mean I, i'm i listen to my body i'm so in tune with myself right that i didn't do that before so, right. what, so what do you think people can do like 
first and foremost, besides talk to themselves, besides <laughs> say, to, <laughs> say to themselves, hey, because that is the first step of like when you're tired, right. you have to be fed up. Right. Um, but you have to be fed up. But what mm -hmm. is something they can do like right now? If somebody's watching this right now, even the replay, hashtag replay. What if they're right. watching this? <laughs> like, what is something they could do right now? Drink more water. That's so good. Stop drinking all the sodas, the coffees, the energy drinks. <laughs> Your heart's palpitating. <laughs> like, just drink more water. Start there. That's good Start advice. There. I, yeah. I love water. That's kind of like, that is my favorite beverage. Mm -hmm. But no, yeah. I, is it with lemon water or is it just regular water? It could be lemon water. Um, some people like key lime. I think key lime's a little bit more bitter. But lemon water, I mean, you could do inf infused fruits with your water. There's some, you just start with water. Good quality yeah. water. <laughs> do your yes. research on this water, <laughs> Cause it's all like, I'm just like I just got a filter. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> me too. Me too. <laughs> like, like, cause all this stuff going around about the water, I'm just like, okay. Oh, it's crazy. And yeah. we start messing with water. Like I always tell people, I don't care about gas. I mean, I it has to be in my car anyway. But I don't care about gas. I care about water. Right. When you start messing with water, right? That's a whole different story. <laughs> that's a whole different story. <laughs> I love that, Mika. And I know this is like a quick live, but I really wanted to talk to you, of course, um, about one of I really believe in what you do. And I love that you speak to us and you give practical tips. I love your stories. So Thank check you. her out too. She's a great storyteller and a truth teller. So I yeah. love um, I love watching you and I don't comment all the time, but you know, I'm I'm there. I'm right. always I'm always in your stories. Anyway, <laughs> so how did they how did they uh, how did people reach you? They can reach me on Instagram at q u three e n gen wellness. I'm about to change that too. So <laughs> <laughs> see, but for right now, it. <laughs> and I'll put all her links, everything, and I think you have. Don't you have a uh, ebook or something that you're offering to people? You have an ebook. It's called A Journey into Self. And the e the ebook is talking basically it's me talking to myself, telling you to talk to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so good. That's how I got it. I got it like, you know, how, how did I start on the journey to myself? Like, oh, I started doing this. I had I I was more self-aware, right? I had to use self-integrity. I had to use self-love. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. once you wrap them all together, you'll find out. Who you really are. <laughs> you, you really, you have no choice. If you did all that, right. you have to be, you have to really right. be the real Mika. You have to be the real Janice. It's, right. You have no choice. You don't. Well, I, th I thank you so much for getting together with me. I know it's been a long time and this will be the start of something else we'll do. Definitely. Right. But I, right. I appreciate you. You know, I love you. And I think I love you're you great. Too. Yeah, I think Thank you're great. Thank you for having me. Yes. <laughs> you. Yes. And this is going to be on the YouTube, um, my YouTube page too. So um, nice. I'll put in the link so we can watch it over and over again. Hashtag replay nice. if you watched it and go to Mika's page, follow her and get all her tips and get her story. Listen to her stories. She's very wise. <laughs> <laughs> and subscribe to your channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank right. you so much, Mika. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, you guys.